Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today is going to be another razor comparison video. I'm going to be trying out some milder options and seeing whether I enjoy them or not. Um, my initial thought is that I will because I have used these before. I've enjoyed them, so let's see how it goes. First, uh, the two that we're comparing is the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.68. This is the older version where it doesn't have the little notch at the bottom, but it still shaves the same. That's what um, I think Joe from Italian Barber is saying. Um, yeah, I got it paired with a Treat Platinum Blade on second use versus the Razor Rock Lupo. Same blade, Treat Platinum on its second use. So um, this one's a mild one. I think this one's, they're both kind of mild to medium efficiency, I believe, um, but let's see how it goes. As for the software today, gonna be trying out some interesting concoction. It's gonna be a mix between Mitchell's Wolf Fat and Sterling Sheep, call it Sterling's Wolf Fat. I already got it loaded in the Captain's Choice Bowl. Took quite a bit of water. So let's see how it goes. It's looking pretty creamy. So I think I'm gonna enjoy the result. All right, let me wet the face and get it going. Got about a two days of growth, a little bit more than uh, usual. All right, let's get at it. So it's already looking creamy. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to mention, this brush is from um, Sada's Creation, made by Bobby Moffat. Excellent pour on this one, I really enjoy using it. There's a coin. I think this lather is going to just blow up. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, that's looking pretty good. Let me just add a bit more water and I think we should be finished. I also have the turn and shape angel knot here. Very soft, like similar to the cashmere knots. Okay, one more drop of water. Mm. Not feeling extremely soft. I really enjoy using the angel knot. <clears throat> Turn and shape makes some amazing synthetic, or they don't make it, but they carry some amazing synthetic knots. I really enjoy using their quarter moon knots and also this angel knot and their fan timber wolf knots. Those are some of my favorites that I ordered from them. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Razor Rock Lupo, on, starting on the right side. Let me try to compare the efficiency in between the two. I know um, Jose wanted to get want to get the Game Changer 6.8, so, but I think, I think this one's a slight better shaver than the Lupo, at least in my uh, memories, but let's see how it goes. First pass through with the grain. <clears throat> it's very smooth. 
with um, with a noticeable blade feel, I would say. Nothing crazy. But I do have to say with these aluminum razors, um, it's a little bit less stable than the stainless steel ones, so... I would say there might be a bit of blade chatter. But it's still enjoyable to work with. All right, that uh, took the ground growth down pretty easily. Let's go to the left side with the Game Changer 6 8. See how that goes. Hmm. Interesting. I would say there's a little bit less blade feel with the Game Changer 6 8, but it is still very comfortable to use and I still notice the blade, uh, just not as present as in the Lupo. But yeah, I think both sides did well. Let me rinse up here. Wow, there is amazing residual slickness. So slippery. Let's check it out. With the grain, I think both razors did fine. I don't notice much difference in the efficiency, so let's get on. Go for the second pass. Plenty here on the brush. Just gonna clean it up just a bit. <clears throat> Excellent lather. I'm really enjoying this mix between Mitchell's and Sterling Sheep. Um, the amount was, uh, I just scooped a little bit of the Sterling and I loaded the Mitchell's for around 12 seconds. And uh, that seems to do fine. All right, looks hydrated. Let's go for the second pass across the grain, starting with the Lupo. There is a different sound to it. The feedback, it sounds a bit more tinny, but uh, still enjoyable. Yeah, I am enjoying this Lupo. Comfortable shaver. I would say it's the one that you could kind of kind of use on the on the autopilot and buff as necessary. I know John shaves 101 used the Lupo recently. Uh, he thought it was a little too mild for him, but I think it's doing well so far for me. But uh I'll have to see at the end of the shave. Here we go. Game changer 68 on the left side, going across the green.
the the feel of this razor I wouldn't say it's as crisp as the 0.84 version but it's, it's still is similar to it just a bit less blade feel and slightly muted in the feedback but I still enjoy it All right, excellent second pass. Let me rinse up and check out. It. Oh man, that is feeling smooth. Even for mild erasers like this, skin is feeling great. Across the grain. Yeah, it's feeling the same. Pretty similar efficiency. I would say this is a DFS so far. I'm gonna just gonna clean it up one more. Go for that against the grain cleanup pass. Plenty of lather here. Creamy, dense lather. I enjoy working with. All right. Against the grain pass, let's go with the Lupo first. All right, very nice. That was really smooth. No tug against the grain. Very enjoyable. Let's go with the left side with the Game Changer 6.8. Here we go. Chin. Right, very nice. I think both did a pretty similar job, but uh, let's see how it went. All right, it's look, looking really nice. All right, against the grain, very similar. Slight, a slight lift. Just a single hair left right on the Game Changer side. And the trouble spot. Huh. I'll say there's a little bit more on the Game Changer side. Yeah. I think Lupo took it down a bit better. Huh. So I would say the Looper is slightly more efficient. Um, a little bit more blade feel than the Game Changer 6.8, but 
but both are very comfortable to work with. I think efficiency wise, they're similar, but I give it an edge to the blue bow. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's see. I'm just gonna clean up with the loop on it. <clears throat> Do one more cleanup pass and see how it goes. <clears throat> Should I just do both? All right, let's just do both then. Let's try to clean up pass with both razors. Uh, let's go across the green first and then next. And then against the green on the chin. That seems pretty good. Yeah, Loop was doing a great job in catching those little stragglers. Let's finish it up with the Game Changer 6-8. Let's see, there was a one straggler here. Hmm, I don't feel it though. That should be good on the neck. Let's get the green on the chin. How's that going? A little bit more here. A little bit of here too. Pretty good. A uh, slight right here. All right, that's a BDS. That is a BDS result. I'm not feeling much irritation. I did buff slightly over here, but I think we should be good. <clears throat> All right, the result, BBS, no irritations. Even though they both feel, they're both on the milder side, but man, gave me the same result or similar result to the one I had previously with the more efficient razors like the Carvo and Comb D-Plate and the Sterling Razor. Now I'll notice some differences uh, after maybe 
five, six hours later, I think milder razors, um, the, the growth tend to, or the stubbles tend to grow a little faster than when I shave with the more efficient ones. But still, right after the shave, the result is pretty similar. BBS, just a pleasure to shave with. So to wrap it up, Lupo versus Game Changer 6.8. The Lupo has slightly more blade feel and it's slightly more efficient, but all in all, both are very comfortable to work with. Uh, I think, I don't think you all um, have any, or at least for me, I don't have any issues using any of these or any of these two razors. Uh, I would say I have to buff slightly more with the Game Changer 6.8, but it feels a little more stable uh, because it is stainless steel. It's got more heft to it. While the aluminum version is lighter, but it's pretty easy or maneuverable to work with. Um, yeah, so that is the result of today's shave. I really enjoyed using the Sterling and Mitchell's combination. I might try that more next time, but uh, yeah, excellent shave today with a great residual slickness on the leather. Just a smooth result. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, actually, let me... <laughs> I forgot to do the alum, so I know it is getting a bit longer, the video, but let me just quickly apply the alum, see, oh, okay, yeah, 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 so I did buff a bit more than the usual, and I'm feeling it slightly, I would say I got a bit more feedback than the usual. Still not a crazy amount, but compared to the feedback that I got last time with the efficient razors, I do get a bit more with these milder options, but still comfortable to use. So yeah, that's that. No nicks, no weepers, no troubles, and just a great shave. We got a little more feedback with the alum, but that's fine. Um, yeah, just gonna wrap it up some witch hazel and bomb off camera. Thank you guys for watching. It's Tim Shaves now. See you guys next time. See ya.